So all the debate over gun control has some gun advocates concerned they'll soon lose the ability to buy certain weapons like assault rifles. Our Allison Morrow joins us now with how that's fueling a gun sales race here in the Bay Area. Allison? Wendy, I just heard back from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and they tell me the Saturday after the shooting in Newtown, more people applied for gun ownership in Florida than on Black Friday, which was the busiest day of the year. At SRT Supply in Clearwater, all the actions moved to the back of the store. You get the stock for 135 And, and in the just 30 minutes this afternoon, they sold six assault rifles. When normally, they sell just three in an entire day. And there's a big fear that they're going to lose their rights to own arms, so they're trying to do what they can now to prevent that. Sean McGrory's one of them. The ex-Marine says now that he's back home, he worries about protecting his family if talk of gun control turns into new laws. Because if I can't get it, then the bad guys will get it. And then I have no chance. That's fine. That concern more than doubled assault rifle sales at some Bay Area shops. And the manager of this store says it's even driving up his competitors' prices. I've seen increases of upwards of 20, 30, 40 percent. So Thomas Sabo recently posted this Facebook message for customers, warning them of what he calls a fear based marketing trend his shop will not join. Put people into a buying frenzy for something that may or may not happen, I, I think is a uh, responsible. It's good for business in times like these and companies like mine. Uh, and I just, I tend not to want to be part of that. But this newly created bullet resistance shield for teachers equipped with door stops and zip ties. Suspect can't see what's going on inside the classroom. Local sales reps argue isn't capitalizing on tragedy, it's acknowledging reality. It's a shame we have to think that way. You know, nowadays you're more always on the defensive as to what do I got to do to stay safe. Now, ammunition sales also spiked after the shooting, according to Bay Area stores. They say their customers are afraid they may no longer be able to buy it.